And also happening now, crews wrapped up for the day in Fruitland, where they continue to excavate the backyard of a home there. Fruitland police say they're looking for the remains of five-year-old Michael Vaughn, also known as Monkey. That search is based off of a tip from someone who lives in the home. And Morgan Romero and Alexander Duggan have been outside that home for the last few days. Morgan and Alex, based on what you've seen and heard out there, it sounds like this isn't going to be a quick process. No, and already, Shira, we are in the fifth day of law enforcement and search and rescue crews excavating the backyard of that house behind me. The address 1102 Red Wing Street in the town of Fruitland, just four minutes away from the Vaughn family home today. However, Alex has been out here for the past few days. Today was much calmer than it's been. We've had heavy machinery here the last few days today, mostly people here with shovels and already it's 4 p.m. and crews are done. Chief Huff, though, saying, as you alluded to, they could be out here for another week as they continue to process that backyard. They're not done yet. They're taking the dirt from that backyard and they're bringing it to a location offsite and they're analyzing that dirt. It's also important to note he does still believe that Michael's remains are here. He has reason to believe that and law enforcement did arrest one of the people who lives in that home. Her name is Sarah Wondra. We told you about that yesterday. The 35 year old was booked into the Payette County Jail on a charge of failure to report a death. She was arraigned yesterday and just to reiterate Huff confirmed that what led them to this home was a very credible tip. And as he told our Alex yesterday, that tip came from somebody inside the home. Yeah, Morgan, law enforcement and search and rescue have been using heavy machinery this whole time to dig up the yard, and now they're in the fine-tuning phase of the excavation. They brought in shovels, as we could see. It's a very slow and methodical process, the ISP public communications officer was telling us, and they can't say if they have found anything yet. Along with the yard, Huff said they're going to search the home as well, and we're still getting a lot of, they're still getting a lot of tips over the last three days. Huff said he has good leads coming in. He feels encouraged. Please keep reaching out. He said please keep reaching out to law enforcement with tips and leads. Um, it's a very complex investigation. You know, Morgan, um, Huff wants to resolve the case and hold these people accountable who committed this alleged crime. And court records do show that the judge ordered a competency evaluation, a mental health exam for Sarah Wandra yesterday. Chief Huff says she has not been cooperative since being arrested. He couldn't say if any arrests are coming down the pipeline, anybody else, but he did say that he he thinks Sarah is not the only one with knowledge about Michael's disappearance. I asked him, how can you charge somebody with failure to report a death if you publicly at least do not have any evidence of a death? And he said, we believe we have probable cause for the prosecutors to charge her with this. It's not just one statement that was made. I also want to know, as we were driving back into the subdivision after going out to lunch, we did see somebody putting up a sign, the subdivision called Hidden Meadows, that said, thanks law enforcement. And that sign was right next to the missing child child sign with Michael Monkey Vaughn's information. Morgan, yeah, it's also important to note that Huff says that there is not a connection with this house and the people who live here with the white Honda Pilot that Fruitland Police uh, had posted earlier last year looking for information about. Also, um, the man walking by the splash pad around the time of Michael's disappearance that they put out a photo of as well. They believe that they have ID'd the man and previously said that they don't believe he was a suspect. We don't have any more information about those two things at this time, the white Honda Pilot or the man that was walking by the splash pad. Um, but we are continuing to stay on top of this story. And again, Michael Monkey Vaughn disappeared July 27th, 2021. Alex has been on this story for well over a year now. And this has been the biggest and most crucial development in this case, Alex. Right, and we're just four minutes away from Michael's home right now. His home is blocked off. Um, Huff said that he doesn't want media presence or other people bothering the family because they are victims of the situation as well. Back to you, Shira. Yeah, I know you both have been staying on top of this for us. Morgan Romero and Alexander Duggan, live in Fruitland.